So we're out here at Dover Speedway. I didn't even start the video yet. We've been driving for a while. First tandems today. Um, 3000, Chris's E36, Frito's car, and uh, it is going way better than I thought it would ever go for tandem driving. It actually makes it a lot easier when you're following somebody. And this is Chris's first time tandeming too. Um, it makes it a lot easier to follow somebody when you're just mirroring what they're doing. Um, so yeah, it's going good. It's going good. We're gonna keep driving and doing it. Tyler got some video on his phone. My action cam's giving me issues, so I'm charging it some more. And, uh, and this is my first time riding in a drift car. So wait, what do you, yeah, all right, give, so, what do you think? Uh, this is a blast. I'm gonna have to build a car. <laughs> I have to build a car. So yeah, what? so Tyler's been coming to events for, I don't know, years. A, yeah, a while now. And um, yeah, this is his first time riding a car because down here, you're allowed to have passengers, whereas in New Jersey, um, you're not. So Tyler's riding along, car's running good. The transmission issue is gone. Yeah. The car's running beautifully. Uh, so we're just gonna keep shredding. and I just little just a little tap and it gave it enough to yeah pick it back up. That felt good though. It did feel good. Hell yeah. Yep. First tandem run ever. I'm gonna keep a gap from Chris, but just wanna feel it out. This will be new for me, that's for sure. Chris, when you're watching this, I'm actually pretty nervous right now. Just don't spin out with those uh, rear tires. If anything, I'll be the one that spins, so. once in the entry. It wasn't bad. I know. I know. But uh, it, it rolls over on the entry. But I tried entering shallow to stay close to you, but then I like I felt like I was coming up too close, so I like let off and then like laid back. I got what? I got nervous. <laughs> yeah. That that was good though. Oh yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, you go first, yeah.
good. All right, so I'm just throwing more fuel in the car. Threw these Mustang wheels on. Um, they had tires on them from Florida last year, and actually, I like the tires, and they're not really wearing very fast at all. I dropped the pressures down a little bit more. Uh, I'm probably gonna finish the day off like this. My front tire is rolling over real bad and start getting all like lumpy. Uh, so I'm gonna need new front tires, but I'm gonna keep running it for now. Um, yeah, we're, uh, this is a lot of fun. This is probably the most fun I've ever had at a drift event. I know I've said that a couple times, but this definitely trumps all when it comes to it. So I'm just gonna finish fueling up and uh, get back out there. with Chris and if Frito's still over there or not and pack up and head home we still have one more lap left but as of right now the car's still one piece the car did great shifting was great everything was good and uh for my first time tandeming not mad at how we were all doing same with Chris it was for his first time tandeming too Frito is very very experienced when it comes to tandeming so he was strong down, down good lines for us to like learn off of and follow but uh yeah definitely not not mad at it you were, Tyler was the first passenger of a Tandeming 3000 GT drift car too out here. <laughs> yeah, damn right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good though. It was real good. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna run one more lap and pack up and get out of here. <laughs>
So guys, that was probably the best event, drift event wise, um, that I've ever done. It was a lot of fun. Um, everybody had a good time. Tandems, I mean, for it being my first time tandeming and for my car not being anywhere near the same caliper of like Chris's E36 or Frito's E36, um, I'm not mad on how we were doing. I'm really stoked and uh, hoping to improve and driving Chris's E36 kind of messed me up because it makes me want a 36 or a 240 now, just a better drifting car. And I've been saying that for a while, but seeing how easy it was to just hop in the driver's seat and go turn a lap in it uh, just kind of blew my mind. So I wasn't really expecting it to be that easy. It's Christmas, so it's about that time. I hope you guys got some cool car parts and all that. I know I got a couple things, you know, not too bad, did all right. Uh, maybe we'll see some videos on the installs of those parts, uh, actually suburban parts. But either way, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday, all that. And I'll see you in the next one. And I think uh, after this, my sister made me another end screen, which she did previously um, in the 2018 videos. And I didn't have one for 2019, but we're gonna be rocking with this end screen. So enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.